Beginning at 6 a.m., Pinellas County pools started to officially reopen with some restrictions. Nightside's Madison Allworth has the latest on the regulations and how an unopened pool could mean lower rent for you. Pinellas County pools are reopening, but before you dive in, there are some rules. Of course, social distancing of at least six feet must be maintained and groups of more than 10 are prohibited. Also, pools need to limit their capacity to 50%. That's to help out with the social distancing. But it is also up to the pool operator whether or not they open, leaving many pools around Pinellas closed. People who sign up for these community associations with luxury amenities are banking on the fact that they can utilize a pool. Landlords have been protected because utilities like a gym or pool being closed were out of their control. And uh, usually the contract will protect the landlord in those senses to say, hey, look, if there's an act of God that we can't allow our, our place to be open, we're not going to do it. But now pools are allowed to be opened and some complexes are keeping them closed doesn't necessarily mean that the tenant will or will not be able to get reduced rent. Could a tenant negotiate that? Negotiations are always on the table. When it comes to negotiating, it's going to depend on what was promised. Or whether or not the landlord is providing everything that it said it would provide. Meaning that even if pool access is not specifically outlined in your lease, if you were shown a pool on an apartment tour and were led to believe you would have regular access to it, you could have an argument. So for those of you who don't live in a complex, you might be wondering when public pools are going to reopen. The resolution that was passed in Pinellas County by the commissioners there looks like it should include public pools, but all of the ones that we checked out today are still closed. Pinellas County Parks and Recreation are still looking into how and when they will open those pools.